Hello students, this is a Maths Worksheet 19 and today we will learn about Chapter 4 Basic Geometrical Ideas and we discuss Angles and Triangles Angles An angle is a figure formed by two rays meeting at a common endpoint. The common endpoint is called the vertex of the angle and the two rays are called the arms of the angle. Examples, looking at these pictures, you can form some idea of an angle. Some angles also form around us, like Caesar. Caesar also form an angle. When we open the mouth of the Caesar, it makes some angle here and here also, in the different sides. Like gold stick, gold stick also form an angle. And chair, here chair also form an angle, and there legs also. Measurement of angles by measure of the angle, we mean the amount of rotation or turning. The standard unit of measure for angles is the degree. The symbol of the degree is this. Here, these two rays also form an angle with the common meeting point which is known as vertex. The angle formed by one complete rotation measures 360 degree or we denote with the symbol 360 degree. Types of angle. First angle, acute angle, an angle that is less than 90 degree, known as acute angle, like angle formed between 0 to 90 degree. These all angles are known as acute angle. Right angle, an angle that is exactly 90 degree, known as right angle. obtuse angle an angle that is greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree are known as obtuse angle example angle of 130 degree an angle which is formed between 19 to 180 degree are known as obtuse angle straight angle an angle that is exactly 180 degree this angle form like a straight line this angle is known as straight angle reflex angle an angle that is greater than 180 degree and less than 360 degree are known as reflex angle the like example angle of 308 degree which form between 180 degree and 360 degree full angle and also known as complete angle an angle that is exactly 360 degree is known as full angle. Triangle A triangle is a three sided polygon. In fact, it is a polygon with the least number of sides. Look at the triangle in the diagram. We write triangle ABC instead of writing triangle ABC. Here, the triangle formed by three line segments like AB, BC, and CA. The three sides of the triangle are AB, BC, and CA. The three angles are angle BAC, angle BCA, and angle ABC. The points A and B and C are called the vertices of the triangle. A, B, C are called vertices of the triangle because here two line segments meet with each other. Classification of triangle. Triangles are classified and named according to the measures of their angles and length of their sides. The first type of triangle 
types of triangles by angles. The first, acute angle triangle. A triangle which has all acute angles is called an acute angle triangle. B. Right angle triangle. A triangle with one right angle is called a right angle triangle. Angle C. Obtuse angle triangle. A triangle with one obtuse angle is called an obtuse angle triangle. Second types of triangles by sides. First, isosceles triangle. If only two sides of a triangle are of the same length, the triangle is called an isosceles triangle. B. Equilateral triangle. If all the three sides of a triangle are of the same length, the triangle is called an equilateral triangle. C. Iskelin triangle. If all the three sides of a triangle are of different length, the triangle is called a iskelin triangle. Quadrilaterals. A four-sided polygon is a quadrilateral. It has four sides and four angles. Like quadrilateral like A, B, C, D here. This is a quadrilateral A, B, C, D and it has four sides. Like A, B, B, C, C, D and D, A. It has four angles. Like angle A, angle B, angle C and angle D. Which is formed in a vertex of the quadrilateral. Sides, opposite sides A, B and D, C. A, B and D, C. And B, C and A, D. B, C and A, D. Are opposite sides of quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Adjacent side. A, B and B, C and C, D and D, A. Angles. Angles. Opposite angles. Angle A and angle C. Angle A and angle C. And angle D and angle B. Angle D and angle B. Adjacent angle. Angle A and angle B. Angle A and angle B. Angle C and angle D. And other angle also. In this exercise, I give some questions related to above discussion. So, you will solve this all questions in your homework. Thank you.